I have created my own Netflix on this tiny device. But why and how? Coming up. So you might be thinking why have I created my own media streaming library? Well, there are a few things that made me do this. First is that whenever I go to a platform like Netflix, not every movie is there on the platform which I want to watch. So I have to look for that movie on different platforms like Prime Video or Disney Plus and have to subscribe to those platforms also. Secondly, I also have to pay monthly charges to these platforms. And if I had made my own media server collection, then it would be way cheaper. So let's get straight to how you can build your own Netflix at home. You will need a tiny device like this. This is the Brainy Pi. You can also use other devices and SBCs like the Raspberry Pi. Apart from this, you will need an external storage device to store your movies and web series onto it. You can use an external hard drive, an SSD or maybe a pen drive also. Then within a few command line steps, we'll be installing Jellyfin, which is an open source media server on the Brainy Pi. So let's get straight to our trusted computer and set it up. So we are here onto a trusted computer and the first thing that you will need to do is SSH into the Brainy Pi. So as you can see, I've already SSH into the Brainy Pi. Uh, so let's start and go and make sure to check out the link in the description below because I have linked the documentation to this whole project down below. So you can follow step by step all the codes, all the you know command lines uh, will be down in the description below. So the first thing that we're going to do is update the repository. So just type in sudo apt update. Let it run. Once this is done, we're going to do sudo apt upgrade. So sudo apt upgrade. And there we go. We are done. The next thing that we're going to do is add a GPG key for Jellyfin. So just copy paste this command. And as always, the link to the documentation will be in the description below. Hit enter. So this has downloaded the keys. And the next command will be to add Jellyfin into the repository. Hit enter. And there we go. We have added Jellyfin into the repository. So just gonna type sudo apt update. So now only one command left to install Jellyfin. So type in sudo apt install Jellyfin. It will prompt. So type in Y for yes. And there we go. So now grab a cup of coffee and relax. And there we go. We are done with the installation process. It's now time to exit the command line and we can now head over to a browser. So now I have opened Firefox and I'm going to type in the IP address of my Pi that is 192.168.0.191 and uh, we're going to go to the default port for Jellyfin which is 8096 and test time. Just hit enter. There we go. We are here on to Jellyfin uh, setup wizard. So we're going to go with English click next. So it's asking for a username. I'll set up admin. I'll set a password. So make sure to set a strong password and just save it. Click on next. So onto here, I'll click on add media library. Content type will be movies and it's asking for a folder. So I'll click on plus and uh, I'll select the directory, which is in my home. I've created already created a folder named movies in my home directory. So there we go. I've selected it's in home Pi and movies. So I'll just click on okay. And you can keep rest as it is, or if you need, you can just you know set it. I'll keep it default. And there we go. We have added movies. I'll now click next. I'll select the country. So I'm from India, select India, preferred language English, click on next. So this I'll keep it as default click on next. So we are done. Now I'll click on finish. So we can log in back. And there we go. We are now logged in and on to Jellyfin. I'll click on movies and uh, currently it's we don't have any movies. So I'll just add some movies onto the movies directory that we had set up. So I've put a sample video in the movies directory and uh, let's test it out. So if you are not able to see the movie or you know your videos into it. So just click on the movies uh, media and click on refresh metadata. So on these three buttons and then scan for new and up updated files, click on refresh and now your movie should be showing up. So once it's done, just click on movies and click on the video. Let's go to the resolution. 
quality and select 1080p 60 mbps so this, that's the highest it's showing currently let's see how it works i'll go full screen and it's playing pretty smoothly right now and 60 mbps and 1080p and 60 mbps Let's also try to monitor uh, the edge stop to see how much load it actually takes while streaming the video. So as you can see this is the edge stop and the video is being played. So it's taking around 1.1 GB after the telephone installation of RAM out of the 4 GB. And you can and see there is not pretty much load right now. So we'll be testing with the 4K sample video as well. So guys now I have added a 4K demo video of a commercial add into the movies directory. So now let's test if uh, we are able to play a 4K video in Jellyfin on the Brainy Pie. So I'll go to the movies. I've already synced the metadata and I'll try playing this. I'll just pause this and I'll check the settings. So as you can see, the quality is on 4K, 120 Mbps. It's the bit rate. I've said that let's go full screen and try to play it. So this is currently running on 4K. It's running pretty smooth, no frame drops. Yeah, so we are able to play 4K videos on Jellyfin on the Brainy Pi. So that's mostly all about setting up Jellyfin. Uh, you can pretty much get started with this, but there are a lot of settings that you can tweak with. Uh, I'll just show you. You can go to the dashboard from here, from the top left, top right. Uh, click on dashboard and there are a lot of settings that you can you know tweak with uh, there can be a different you know specific video made on you know setting up uh, like the configuring of uh, Jellyfin on the Brainy Pi. so it's general there is users you can add more users to it so that uh, your family members or your friends can access your Jellyfin. Uh, you can you know change the playback settings you know um, there are you can see how many devices are there so I've currently also added an iPhone to it so on the iPhone, you can have the Jellyfin app. It's also available on Android devices. So you can just install the Jellyfin app on uh, via the App Store or the Google Play Store. And I'll just show you a demo. So here, as you can see on the Jellyfin app, I have installed and I'll just sh show by playing a movie. So as you can see, the video is being played on the phone via the Jellyfin application. For advanced users, there are a lot of networking settings that you can check out. You can also enable HTTPS on this and uh, you can also do a lot of cool advanced stuff. So that's how you can set up your own media server on the Brainy Pi. You can consider subscribing to the channel as we put cool and awesome tech content like this every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.